what we'd like is you guys to take it down voluntarily and we'll just go back to where we were at because there's a basically the county says there's no fixing of anything to county property so that needs to be removed i'll i'll do it if i have to but i prefer you do it on your own okay so i'm going to give you a few minutes to make a decision on your own if it's not down i'll come over and take it down myself and i'll give it back to you but after that it's it needs to be done by you or, or us i you guys you a question property. about that sure order. um how do you account for the fact that that has been over there on the flagpole base for 10 years every Saturday from 12 to 1? What has changed? What I would do is what I would, has changed? let me finish. The direction I'm giving by the Humboldt County Risk Manager, okay, is that there's no affixing of anything to county property. Risk, okay. what? risk what? management. To who? That's the risk manager. That's her title. Okay. So I'm not going to get in a debate over titles and stuff. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, sir. I've been directed that there's no affixing of anything to county property. That's county property. That's a fixed to it. So what has changed okay. since the last 10 years? That's a discussion you need to have with the county. I'm a Eureka police officer. Okay. Okay. Well, then you need to talk to like Lovelace or somebody on the school board. We can't. They won't let it. This is free speech. This is a traditional area. The county cannot impose unreasonable restrictions on their rights. That. These are the municipal codes. They don't apply. That flag can be held by you folks all day long. But it can't be affixed by two of the property. We have a fix it okay. for years. I'm just letting you know. I need to do that what I'm being directed. Okay. We have I to understand that. Could you you actually, you're not you're required to follow an unlawful that's order. That's you're actually that's obligated that's not to follow an okay. unlawful order. Once again, I'm going to walk away and then... Please, will yes. you read this and consider it before you take it down? I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk away, and mm -hmm. in five minutes from now, if that's not down by you folks removing it, I'm going to come back and I'll bring it down and I'll hand it off to whoever wants it. Not but at that point, oh, you'll get it back then, ma'am. But it won't be on that fence in five minutes, okay? One way or the other. Thank you. That's an unlawful action, sir. It's unlawful. It's unlawful. But he has it's unlawful. It's unlawful. It's unlawful. No, it is, it is the obligation of a police officer to uphold the law regardless of orders. That is obvious. It is, it is unreasonable to follow an unlawful order. Well, I know, but, but where he where he is where he's getting his authority for it's a false authority, but he. He doesn't have a job. At the moment, he wouldn't have a job if he if he didn't do that. So I, I see that we're not talking to the right people if we think that he's going to change. He it's said under he would give it back to so Yeah. We have decided that if the women want the yeah. men in black, that we're not going to personally take it. Would it be wrong? Right. Mm -hmm.